The actual money released, mm. the Treasury Department and others have, have, have scoped that very carefully. Right. And they calculated at $55 billion well, that is, that over is... a period of time. Yeah, over a period of time. Okay, well, that's, that's very good to know. Mike Barnacle. Mr. Secretary, how significant are the divisions within the Iranian leadership? And what degree of difficulty did those divisions, if they are significant, lead, uh, present in terms of the prisoner release? Well, Mike, everybody knows that uh, the IRGC opposed this agreement. And the reason they opposed it is they wanted the nuclear weapon, they wanted a nuclear umbrella, they wanted their program as robust as possible, and they wanted no rollback. And everybody understands, because we've seen this play out in the elections in Iran over the last years, that there is a tension. And it is a tension between those who want to uh, you know, play the revolutionary card and the card of 1979 and keep moving in a certain track, and those who believe that Iran will be better off rejoining the world and engaging in commerce and doing better by their people. That is why President Obama spoke directly to the people and, uh, yesterday, because Iran has an opportunity here. We all have an opportunity here. Whether it will happen or not, I can't tell you. Right. And I want to emphasize, this agreement was not calculated to solve all the problems with Iran. This agreement was calculated to address a threat that the United States of America felt to ourselves and to the world about their production, potentially, of a nuclear weapon. As a res and, and so now we've addressed that. And I think we saw it with the sailors, who, by the way, inadvertently uh, went into Iranian waters. And none of us appreciated what we saw in the video. I raised that directly with Iran. It infuriated me as a former sailor, as a member of the military. But nevertheless, we were able to resolve that potential conflict. Mm -hmm. There were people in Iran who made the argument that they should have been held as hostages that they should have been made into more of a trade. And, and it is to the enormous credit of the Supreme Leader, President Rouhani, Foreign Minister Zarif, that they understood that this was better resolved rapidly in the way that it was. And, and, and that could not have happened had we not made the agreement uh, with respect to the nuclear uh, uh, program. All right. Well, Mr. Secretary, we thank you so much uh, for being on our show. First, considering that, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm critical. I've been Just very, very critical. Uh, first of all, and secondly, you know Barnacle personally, and oh. you still chose to come on our show. <laughs> that which, was big. Which means Red Sox fans have to stick together. So congratulations. Joe, I, I know. I ever... know. This has been a tireless uh, effort on your part. Uh, congratulations. Well, thank you. You have a great show, and uh, uh, there's a lot of good discussion here and I enjoy being on it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Great talking to you. Thank Congratulations. You. We'll be right back.